Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've been through Premier League, Bundesliga, League One, and now La Liga Team of the Season. It is time for the last of Team of the Season, and that is Serie A. Will EA make this a good week, or will it be a bad week? Some sort of Bundesliga and League One. We have some leaks to look at for players that are going to be in this promo squad starting tomorrow, but we have to discuss what is starting today because every single week on Thursdays, we know we get that content for the next team of the season that is coming out. So I want to talk about that and more in today's video. Also, what a freaking thumbnail again on the channel, guys. I would love to sit down and have some Italian food with Dybala and Rafael Yao. All right, that's besides the point. Let's get into the video today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not, if you are new. Let's start off by diving straight into yesterday's SBCs on a Wednesday. We had yet again another really great player SBC. Not because it's the most meta card that everybody's going to be putting into their teams. There are some drawbacks to this flashback on Hell Correa card, but it is yet again another fun, cheap SBC player that a lot of us can try out for virtually free, right, with the craft of this game at the moment and the fodder that is available from the packs that are there. And it's just a fun card, right? Of course, on Tuesday, we had the Sorloth and that made waves. We talked about him yesterday. Another SBC of the same value, right? It's a cheap player SBC for a card that is just meta in its own different way, guys. He is not six foot five and an absolute beast and hold up play with aerial uh, playstyle plus and with headers and all that, like Sorloth. He is the exact opposite. He's five foot seven and his left stick dribbling is going to be one of the best in the game for this price. This is a guy that has insane dribbling aura in game, right? It's the aura. That word's coming out a lot recently in the community as a very popular way to describe how players feel. He's just different in game, guys. I haven't used a Correa card for a while, but this is a card that you would see all the time at the beginning of the year because his base gold card every single year for starter squads is a mainstay. He's everywhere because he's so good. And the same thing, it, it transposes to the end of the year. This card is going to be very good. He's only 112,000 coins. That's awesome. If you're not somebody who likes the Sorloth, then maybe this is the type of card that interests you. I kind of like how EA did that. They released a player of this type, right? Big body. Then they released the exact opposite. Very short and small. Great with the left stick technical dribbles. dribbles. He does not have technical plus. He has rapid he has Treat Vela, and he has Flair. That's the biggest downside of this card, is that he really only has two, two and a half playstyle pluses, if you will. This is the most useless playstyle plus in the game. If they would have given him technical, this card would have been probably too crazy, right? It's kind of the same uh, reasoning that I used with the Kunde SBC that we had. They didn't give Kunde anticipate playstyle because, I don't know, using this guy in game now for like, 20 games for a weekend league it feels like he has anticipate without even having it like his tackles are just insane his animations are insane and i almost feel sort of the same way about correa if they would have given him that playstyle plus he probably would have been like too good for what they wanted him to be for 115,000 coins so the aura for this card i love it i think it's great i love the flashback design dynamic is you know it's all right and I just love the 115, 112,000 coin price tag here. It's another fun, cheap player SBC. And again, yes, I get it. There's a lot of people that maybe are like, nah, Nate, this SBC is super mid just because it's not as good as maybe their Lewandowski that's in their team or whatever tot striker that they've got in their squad. I don't think that's the point here. The point is to try out a fun card for virtually free with the craft and to use somebody different. So I will stop yapping, but you know what, La Liga, you've given us some really good player SBCs, and evidently there's one more still coming today. Now, yesterday we also had, as always on Wednesdays, the La Liga Tots Guaranteed, that Major League Tots Guaranteed pack. They did not include Liga F, which I wondered if they were going to. They didn't, but they only made it one squad. They made it cheap again, two weeks in a row, right? League One was cheap. La Liga is cheap as well. 87 rated squad with one team of the season inside of this for a chance at somebody great, but also the very high chance of somebody that is not very good. Of course, everybody goes and does this for the gamble, for the chance, right? And uh, you know what? I haven't even seen many of these opened. I haven't even completed the SBC yet. I was around, I was out and around for a lot of the day yesterday. We were mentioning in the stream the streams the past couple of days. That yesterday was a really busy day. You can see a picture of me on Twitter in touching some grass. I guess it wasn't really grass. It was more of like wood. But yes, out about because of things going on IRL. 
but I will be doing this SBC because why not, right? It's the kind of why not SBC every single Wednesday that we do. I do want to know who you guys got. Before I get this done, I want to see how the weight was. I can't imagine that it's good, though, because it was 70,000 coins. It was cheap. Probably a lot of Carvajal's, Nico Williams, Dovbik, and all the guys here on this bottom row. But you know what? It's worth the chance to just go after it. So I do want to mention, though, since it's an 87 rated squad, we had a little bit of a spike on some fodder on the high, middle to higher tier, right? Um, I think 88s yesterday were like 8K. Yeah, 8.8K. They went all the way to 11,000 coins. What a spike for those cards. GG's if you had invested or even if you had some of those in your club still. Same thing with 87. Since it was that higher rated squad requirement, 7K up to 8K for those big rise on that sort of fodder and i believe look at 84s 1.7k so they did good this week 85s are up at 4,000 coins but what do we know about fodder guys every single wednesday into thursday it goes down so be very careful if you have some of that fodder if you're watching this video before squad not squad battles but rivals rewards Take the cash on that fodder because it will be dropping today. Last thing from yesterday's content that I want to point out from the menus is in the objective section, we had another cup dropped. This was really random. The E Champions League Finals Cup, which actually, if you look at the rewards, an 86.3 and some other really solid packs, an 86.2, 84.5, and an 83 times 10 for winning eight games and playing 10 in another different cup mode we have a lot of cups and kind of lounge situations that are going on right now every single week we're getting a new one and they add this on top of it i guess hey another way to play the game in a friendly mode with a different team and get some extra packs i'm all for it it just seems really random the squad requirements are minimum 87 rated squad two loans maximum and you have to have two champions league players in your starting 11 so this is the squad that i kind of built out i put in three champions league cards here from the men's side and then sell Basha from the women's side and just filled in the rest with some cards that i haven't used yet just for fun it is max chemistry mode but it looks like it's five games per day, which is a little bit frustrating from that regard. Um, it, I wish it was unlimited, but at least the other cup is unlimited. And we're going to see some more cup gameplay today. There's going to be a lot of you guys, myself included, talking about that and playing in that game mode today. We'll talk about that later. Now, we did have another objective player yesterday, and that was Vanaken from the Club Bruges, the Bel Belgian League. He's had some really good team of the season cards uh, in past years. Tots plus for him, not a bad card. It's pretty easy to get done. Do this while you're doing some squad battles for an evolution. That's the best way to get some of these done, in my opinion. So that was out there. And we cannot talk about yesterday without mentioning the crazy Europa League final outcome 3-0 Atalanta and that is not at all what anybody was thinking was going to happen and Ederson is going to be the showdown card upgraded not Hoffman I didn't end up doing either of those SBCs but it was a bit of a surprise and Ederson's going to get that plus two here very soon um I, I think there was a live card was there a live card for Atalanta I don't even remember who the live card was if they had one I know of course Tela uh was you know in the running to get upgraded but he does not because Leverkusen did not win. I, I said it yesterday on Twitter. I think that EA jinxed Leverkusen by putting in that upgrade pack that was the all Leverkusen Tots pack, right? Feels like it was kind of a jinx. Again, you read the description of this pack and it's like, celebrate Leverkusen for the undefeated run that they have had. And then they drop this the next game they play buyer leverkusen lose so we're gonna blame ea for that as well why not that was the content yesterday guys it really was now of course on wednesdays we always talk about this too we talk about the la liga tots cards rising up a price now i didn't watch i didn't sell actually any of the cards that i bought i bought a Lewandowski for 800 i bought some east Coast for under 320 and if i check footman right now looks like we're doing okay i think these cards the most meta ones from the promo side did rise well i did see that Lewandowski was around 900k so that it was as expected yesterday some of the cards that we were hoping to go up did go up uh looks like ramos went up i think he's undercut right now he was 1.5 valverde felix even Kamavinga, Rudiger, and uh, uh, some of those middle tier cards have gone up a decent amount. Araujo was like 450, and now he's almost 500k. So there were some good rises on La Liga team of the seasons. Guys, again, we, we get into the Serie A conversation. We think about the cards that are maybe coming this weekend and the end of La Liga team of the season. 
I don't foresee a lot of panic selling on a lot of these cards. So if you invested before, ooh, that was an undercut, 838 for Lewa. That was a low one there. Um, if you invested in some of these cards like I did during that pre-guaranteed um, Todd's Pack time frame, I think you're fine to hold these cards for at least another day or so. That's probably what I will do. Sell them on like Friday if you want to before Serie A comes out. I don't think there's going to be a lot of panic on these cards heading into Serie A team of the season, unless something crazy happens, which after this week and how crazy it was, I don't imagine there's going to be something all that crazy. So I'm going to hold on to the couple of La Liga Tots cards that I have. I think you're pretty safe to rock with those in your team. I would not hold too far into the weekend, though, because of still ultimate team of the season that is looming so that's kind of what i wanted to mention from the content with yesterday the market moving a little bit we'll talk about market more here in a second regarding today on thursday guys we all know what thursday brings right division rivals rewards i'm not getting any rewards this week because i did not play at all yesterday on wednesday hopefully you guys are getting some good rewards though i haven't even i made it to division one and i haven't even got the player pick yet i've got like one more week or two more weeks to get this done I got to get cooking up in the reward upgrades for Division 1 so I can get that TOTS player pick that I literally got to Division 1 so I could get. But with Rivals Rewards always, right, you get tradable supply for the La Liga TOTS cards on the market. Most of all, the cheap cards are the ones that are getting supplied. Not too much of the cards on the expensive end, but somebody like this card of a haul right this is a tots card that's pretty common but you know this is the day if you want to try to invest in any of the lower tier to middle tier budget um la liga team of the season cards today would be the day to do it so i'm looking at maybe i don't know probably this alex garcia maybe car of a haul some of the cards that are cheap that haven't been packed a lot or just ones that people will be using like car of a haul is a very common name so if people are going to be linking cards with la liga links in their club especially madrid links this could be a guy that ends up rising up out of packs. I'm not going to put coins into it myself, but that's just the sort of thing. He could drop down two, three, four thousand 4,000 coins, maybe 30K flat, and that's like the lowest point for his card before he goes out of packs because of the links that he has. So I'm not saying he's going to go up, but it's just that sort of example. I think the lower tier will get supplied a bit today with Rivals Rewards. And as always, Thursdays brings the supply for the fodder. Anything that is 89 rated and below in terms of fodder is probably going to get supplied. What happened last week? Last week, you can see here, um, Bernardo Silva went from 10,000 coins before rivals and then all the way down to 8.8K. We had the icon pick last week, so we bounced back up to 9.5. There's definitely going to be fluctuation today. Like If these 88 rateds go back down to like 8,000 coins flat, I think there's an opportunity to buy there. I also think if you see 85s as low as like minimum price, 3.2K, I think I would bid on some of those as well because you got the 86 double refreshing today. I think the La Liga pack does not refresh, unfortunately, unless they change the timer on it. But I would watch 85s up to 88 today. They'll be dropping with rewards, but it might be an opportunity to trade. That's something that happens every single Thursday with those rewards. Now, we had a little bit of a tease today. I'm going to pull up one of my tweets from earlier because uh, talking about today's content on Thursday as well, um, we had one of the leakers respond to us on Twitter, guys, out of nowhere about something that might be coming today. I tweeted yesterday a six foot five beast, Sorloff. Today a five seven left stick dribbling rat with Correa, right? Comparing and contrasting those two cheap budget striker beasts. And then FIFA Trading Romania responded with tomorrow is something in between. Tomorrow being today, of course, since this was yesterday. So it looks like we're getting a player SBC today of somebody who's not as tall as Sorloff. Or as short as Correa, so somewhere right in the middle, maybe a five foot eleven or a six foot player of some regard. It's going to be an SBC today. We've had a defender in Kunde. We've had Onabate a defender as well, um, and then we had Correa and Sorloff. Maybe it's going to be more of a midfielder related um, SBC because we've had less of those during team of the season so far, at least La Liga team of the season. I don't know. That's just a thought. Maybe it's going to be a striker or a defender once again. But uh, that is, I guess, regarding a leak today of a player who's going to be coming in packs. We don't know who that is, but it's a hint of somebody coming in as a player SBC. I, I doubt it's going to be that insane. Thursday player SBCs are usually not that good. I think on Thursdays, too, we've been getting evolutions. Actually, Thursdays always used to be kind of like dead content days, and they've been actually not too bad recently. Uh, for most of these we do need evos though man like evos are a part of the game right now that's very disappointing and frustrating it's like where are the actual good evos at and why 
have we not gotten them, especially during this week of La Liga content where it's been pretty good. It's been a good grind with the crafting and all the SBCs and packs, right? But we're missing that Evo piece. It'd be really nice if we had some of that. Now, not to leave Syria for the last topic of the video, but it is the last topic and the last team of team of the season, right? I want to look forward to tomorrow on Friday a little bit more because we have a few more leaks and a little bit more information about what to be expecting for Serie A team of the season. Guys, there was somebody in the comments yesterday who was like, yo, I've been saving all my packs for Serie A tots. And I was like, man, I have to remember that there are some of you guys that have been waiting for Serie A team of the season this whole entire time to be ripping as many of your packs as you want to rip to try to chase after these cards from your favorite teams, your favorite clubs, your favorite players. Let's take a look at a couple of these leaks because, again, Serie A team of the season always just has like this its aura, right? Its own aura is, it's not good. It's always kind of the forgotten about team of the season that everybody just wishes would get over really quick. But who knows? Like, it could actually slap. We'll just have to see. It all depends on the content, right? If they give us good SBCs, we have a crafting objective that is still out if you haven't finished it. That'll be carrying through Serie A team of the season. But it all comes down to the player SBCs, I feel like now, and the pack weight. So, We'll have to see how this rolls by. But Rafael Leao, of course, we looked at that leak yesterday. That's not a surprise. Paulo Dybala, again, not a surprise that he's leaked to be in team of the season as well. Here's the new leaks and news. Shalhanoglu is coming as a team of the season card in the Serie A promo. I packed his fantasy card earlier on this year, and I was so excited to use him. And then he barely got any upgrades, and I didn't have any links for this guy in my team. That's probably the issue with Serie A the most when it comes to squads is that it's hard to link some of these guys because the nationalities are kind of all over the place. And unless you have multiple players from the same club, it's a little bit difficult unless you're specifically running a Serie A team. There's been bits and pieces of hype around the Serie A this year, but I feel like the Serie A and the Bundesliga are kind of the same for most people's squads. Unless you're focusing on that league, it's a bit difficult to try to fit some players in. This one, he, Chal Chalhanoglu would be difficult to fit in too unless you get some other interlinks. I mean, he could be a really, really good card. It's just going to depend on the stats. It's going to depend the skill move, the weak foot, uh, upgrade boost there. Maybe Lautaro is a card that you can link that Shalhanoglu. He's kind of a mainstay of the team of the season every single year. Lautaro here, 95 rated is the guess. He better not have Flare Plus. Like, I really hate to see Flare Plus placed out, man. It just, it's like useless, man. Technical and power shot, though, will be cold for Lautaro Martinez. So that's a card that is a new leak that we will see in Serie A team of the season tomorrow. And we have one last leak right now, which is Teo Hernandez, which is kind of like, okay, this is obvious. But I think there are some other deserving left backs in Serie A, namely DeMarco. So we will see what other leaks continue to come out. Guys, again, it's just like last week with La Liga. We're here on a Thursday, and we have, what, five or six players leaked that we just looked at? Nobody else? It's really crazy that the leaks are kind of delayed as much as they are. So that's just one thing I wanted to point out to you guys about those leaks. Other thing is, if you're asking the question, Nate, there's no Serie A or women's Serie A in this game besides Juventus women's team, right? That is correct. We are not getting a um, women's Serie A. I don't know what the name of the league is off the top of my head, but we're not getting the women's players from Italy. We are getting the NWSL as the women's team that is in packs. So we're going to have Serie A and NWSL this Friday. NWSL could be really cracked. Sophia Smith, um, namely Alex Morgan. There's plenty of other players that have been good from that league this year and other meta cards in FC24. That could actually be a really good league. Watch out for some leaks around who might be in that team of team of the season today as well. Of course, coming out on Friday, but leaks may be starting to filter out today. Now, how does this actually impact us today for Serie A team of the season, right? Of course, it's about the cup, guys. And I actually just went to my club to see who would be um, a part of my cup team for the cup that's coming out today, right? The Serie A cup objective, the same cup that we've had for the last week, the season six lounge. Um, I went in here and I was like, you know what? Let's look at Serie A players. Who do we have? And I was actually kind of surprised to see I've got a decent number of SBC cards that are Serie A that are actually decent. You know, I got, you know, actually from the storyline, we've got a McKenny, we've got Sandro SBC, I have a Di Natale, I have this Musa from Future Stars, I've got the Flashback Giroud, what an item that was, Quadrado from the Thunderstruck promo, a player of the month, Pulisic, um, even another Evo McKenny. It honestly doesn't look too half bad of a team 
uh, comparatively to what some of my other league teams looked. I think the Serie A has had some decent SBCs this year. I don't know if you guys have them still in your club, but of course, with that cup team, you are going for max 90 rated. And that once again does mean that we have to be watching some of these players on the market that will be bought to fit into people's teams. Like, I need a center back. When I look at my team right there and who I have in the club, I really need a center back. Maybe I go pick up Lucio, right? And he's like 50, 58, 59,000 coins at the moment. A little undercut there at 55. Watch these players once again today. It's the same thing everything, every single Thursday, guys. The cards that are the most popular, the most used in these cup squads, max 90 rated, uh, you see them moving up on the market. But today is also the best day to sell, of course because there will be less demand as we move on and on throughout the week. Now, of course, be very careful with the 89 rated they might give out as the rewards from this cup. Like last week, some of the players that were given out were decent, right? Um, you know, watch for that this week as well. But just get your Serie A squads ready. If you're like, man, I only have a couple of players from Serie A that are good, then you probably do want to sell them. And of course, watch the golds like uh, this Tamori card. Uh, Di Lorenzo is a right back. I don't even know how much he is. Whether he's getting a team of the season or he's not, he's already up to 4,000 coins and he was 2K on Friday. People are investing and waiting for this card to potentially go up with the cup that is coming out today. So also like Rafael Leao's gold card, it's stuff like that. The cheap meta golds have been booming in price recently. Uh, I mean, he was 6.2K last Friday and now he's 8,000 coins. Selling the hype on the golds for sure. That is the best way to go about it. But just, you know, go the smart route, check your club, make sure you have a halfway decent Serie A team, and then you will be absolutely fine for the cup that is coming out today to get it done pretty quick. So honestly, guys, I think we covered just about everything. I've been not opening packs like all day yesterday. So let's open an 85 times five. Or do I have one? Yeah, 85 times five. Let's just rip this real quick and get up a blue on the counter. Yes, it is a moment's Portugal left back. No center mid. Okay, it's a double walkout, but that still is a toss moment, so it could be Cancelo. Double Portuguese pack? No, it is Nico Williams, but we're going to take the counter to 1-4-3. Some of you guys were asking in the YouTube comments as well, what does that counter mean? That is a total number of Team of the Seasons that we have packed through this year of Team of the Seasons so far from regular packs, not guaranteed. So that's another 87 exchange done and dusted right there. Actually, I'll put Lucy Bronze into the Tots upgrade, and we will be back opening packs today and streaming live on Twitch. So make sure you come through. We'll be crafting the last of these 36 upgrade objectives, probably playing some cup and doing one last final send on Thursday of La Liga team of the season to see if we can get even more lucky and hit one of these La Liga Tots cards to end things off. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Have a great Thursday, and I'll see you in the stream today. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. Catch you there. Peace out.